As a B2B marketer, you want to understand the return of investment on your digital channels, but also for the physical or offline channels that you have. This is something that traditionally can be very difficult to do. In Dream Data, we have that unified in one report, which we simply call ROI. In this example, I'm looking at the activities that we've spent money on uh, in the current year, and I'm tracking it against the sales qualified opportunities that we generated. Overall, I can see how many visitors and SQLs that I've generated, and I also get an overall cost per acquisition or cost per opportunity and the return on investment that I've had in this time frame. One of the interesting things here is that I might want to go down and compare the performance of my digital channels versus my offline channels. In this example, I've added uh, a couple of offline uh, channels or events that we've been to. So this is Slush and Inbound. What we will show here is the cost associated with running those specific activities, but we're also going to show how much pipeline each of those channels and sources influenced. That means that I can now look at what is my cost per opportunity per event and per, let's say, ad network, but I can also compare the overall return on investment. So if you find it hard to kind of defend spending a lot of money on physical events, this gives you a much easier way to say, well, our money is actually better spent on going to events like inbound than comparing it, for example, with spending the money on display ads. As a field marketer, it can be very frustrating understanding how your activities are influencing business outcomes in your organization. Part of the reasoning for this is that if you look in the CRM system, well, there will be a source field on the opportunity, and that's very rarely going to state that an event was the last touch before opportunity creation. So in Dream Data, we approach this and fix it uh, in multiple ways. The first part of it is moving from a single touch view to a multi-touch view. So I'm going to select a multi-touch model for this report, and I'm going to choose that I want to look at the performance based on sales opportunities that was generated this year. What I'm going to look at now is a breakdown of how different events contributed to my sales qualified opportunities. So I can now see how much value I can attribute to each of these events and the general performance of it. Now, oftentimes, physical events are not necessarily leading to the opportunity creations. It's actually nurturing the process and assisting the sales in already ongoing sales processes. So in Dream Data, we can move up and down the funnel to understand at which specific points are our activities actually kind of having the biggest impact. So if I move down to new business closed one, it's going to look at how these specific events actually contributed to opportunities that reached a close one stage in our CRM. And now we start seeing much more value being attributed to these events. And this is very powerful for field marketers because they're not tied to kind of impacting it as a last touch before opportunity creation, but they can move up and down the funnel to uh, measure impact at all uh, stages in the funnel.